I am Will Scott. Welcome in to Dolphins today. And we're filming this after what was a really tough night uh, in the National Football League. We were all watching what happened uh, with our division rival Bills and their safety, Damar Hamlin. And our prayers are with the Buffalo Bills right now, Damar Hamlin and his family, as he remains in critical condition in the University of Cincinnati Medical Center. Uh, we're certainly praying for Damar Hamlin, the Bills' safety, collapsing last night in the first quarter of Monday night football. And this was the scariest thing that I've ever seen uh, when watching sports. And I remember when Tua Tungavailoa uh, got hurt on the same field at the time. That was the scariest thing that I'd ever seen watching sports. And this obviously um, was, was even more serious. Um, a life-threatening situation here. He um, had to get CPR on the field and then was taken in an ambulance to the University of Cincinnati Medical Center. And the Buffalo Bills putting out a statement late last night saying this. Damar Hamlin suffered a cardiac arrest following a hit in our game versus the Bengals. His heartbeat was restored on the field, and he was transferred to the UC Medical Center for further testing and treatment. He is currently sedated and listed in critical condi condition. And the Bills put out another tweet um, that he is still in critical condition and in the ICU. The Miami Dolphins tweeting this uh, just moments after uh, what took place last night, our hearts and prayers with DeMar Hamlin and the Bills. Several Dolphins players chiming in as well, including Emmanuel Ogba saying, praying for DeMar, Lord, please help that young man, Raheem Mostert as well. Sending my prayers to DeMar Hamlin and his family. Jalen Waddle tweeting this, praying for, for Hamlin man, for real, and then Teron Armstead tweeting this earlier today. Continued prayer for Damar Hamlin and his family. All love, young king, as we bring in producer Patrick Seatman. And it's just tough to think about football right now, man. I mean, our, our thoughts and prayers uh, with Damar Hamlin, it's by far the scariest thing that I've ever witnessed uh, watching a sporting event. And this is just way bigger than football. I mean, this was just one of those situations where you felt it. I was watching this game alone in my apartment, and you felt that moment, and we were across the country from Cincinnati. I mean, you could just read the body language of the players, I mean. And it just sucks because we're all kind of sitting around waiting right now, hoping for the best. We're all, we're all still rattled by it, right? I mean, this took place last night. We're now 1.30 Central Time, 2.30 Eastern Time. Uh, here on Tuesday, still awaiting an update on DeMar as he is fighting for his life right now in Cincinnati, Ohio. This coming from his family, a statement put out by his family earlier today. On behalf of our family, we want to express our sincere gratitude for the love and support shown to DeMar during this challenging time. We are deeply moved by the prayers, kind words, and donations from fans around the country. We also want to acknowledge the dedicated first responders and healthcare professionals at the University of Cincinnati Medical Center who have provided exceptional care to DeMar. We feel so blessed to be a part of the Buffalo Bills organization and to have their support. We also want to thank Coach Taylor and the Bengals for everything they've done. And they mentioned the University of Cincinnati Medical Center. And on the night that two was injured, I learned a lot about about that place, and they have some of the best doctors in the world there taking care of DeMar Hamlin right now as he uh, goes through this. Now, he is 24 years old, only 24 years old right now, and fighting for his life. Um, he's my age. It's difficult to think about. Um, went to the University of Pittsburgh. I got to watch this guy in college. He's a great player. 2021 six-round pick, and he runs the Chasing M Foundation, which has received millions and millions of dollars in donations, and here is what his fundraiser is all about with this foundation. Here is what he said about it. As I embark on my journey to the NFL, I will never forget where I come from, and I am committed to using my platform to positively impact the community that raised me. I created the Chasing M's Foundation as a vehicle that will allow me to deliver that impact. And the first program is the 2020 Community Toy Drive, 100% of the funds raised will go toward the purchase of toys for kids 
in need. And he actually started this foundation before he even was an NFL player. Um, so even before he entered the league, he was wanting to make a positive impact in his community. And the fundraiser has raised over $4 million in counting. Before last night, had a $2,500 goal. Now they have raised over or $4 million. Uh, that is absolutely phenomenal. And if you want to donate, the link to that GoFundMe is in the comments and the description of this video. I highly encourage um, you all to check that out. Um, you know, remember when... Tua Tungavaloa went down. Bills fans donated hundreds of thousands of dollars to his foundation. Um, and it's been great to see from Dolphins fans and just fans around the league in general, them pouring money into his foundation as we still wait an update and are certainly rooting for the best. It's difficult, very difficult, just to think about anything other than DeMar Hamlin today. Uh, we are going to get into um, briefly but still going to talk about some Dolphins news later on in today's show. We'll uh, provide some injury updates that we heard from Mike McDaniel in yesterday's press conference. Before we get into that, I want to tell you about today's sponsor, uh, Rocket Money. Rocket Money, I'm sure a lot of you have New Year's resolutions to save money. Rocket Money is going to help you do that by canceling unnecessary subscriptions. That's why I love using Rocket Money, formerly known as Truebill. In fact, they're going to tell you you've been double charged for a subscription. And not only are they going to track your subscriptions, but they're also going to track your spending as well. To cancel those subscriptions, though, all you got to do is press cancel. They will take care of the rest. Get rid of useless subscriptions with Rocket Money now by going to rocketmoney.com slash Dolphins Chat. They're going to show all your subscriptions on one screen and then cancel the ones that you do not need. Again, they're also going to track your spending, tell you how much you spent on dining per month, on your bills, on rent. It's a great app, and I use it all the time. Let's get into some injury updates now. We're going to talk about these four guys on today's show. Uh, Kenda Lamb, Teron Armstead, Bradley Chubb, and Xavier Howard. Uh, let's start with Kenda Lamb because we did get the most clarity on him yesterday. Here's what Mike said. With Kenda Lamb, it's going to be tough for him to come and play this week. I don't see that happening. That ankle injury was, he's a warrior that we've learned in a short period of time that we count on, but I think this would be too aggressive for this week. So it sounds like Kendall Lamb's going to miss this week. And you sign him back in November to the practice squad, just adding depth in an area where you really need depth on the offensive line. He not just was elevated. He was signed to the active roster last week and was expected to have a pretty big impact on this team the remainder of the season. Uh, starting at left tackle, actually, with Teron Armstead and Eric Fisher out, but left the game with an injury and is expected to miss this week as well. So I get it. He's only played in one game, but uh, with some of the issues you have on the O-line right now, that's certainly a, a pretty big loss. Uh, Barry Jackson tweeted this from the press conference. Xavier Howard injured his knee when he collided knees with another player in practice last Thursday. His status, as well as Chubb and Armstead, are up in the air for Sunday against the Jets. McDaniel said clarity only on Kendall Lamb, who's unlikely to play versus the Jets. And we did learn yesterday that the Jets game is scheduled for 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern time on Sunday. Patriots builds scheduled for that same time. The NFL just announced the Bills-Bengals game is not going to be made up this week with still a lot of unknowns on their status for Sunday's game. But, you know, I'll, I'll say this again, Seeps. I can't even think about football right now. And there's a lot of questions that people have about Week 18. It really doesn't matter. All that matters is if DeMar Hamlin's going to be okay. And the fact that we have a tough time talking and thinking about football, could you imagine what the Buffalo Bills players, yeah. the guys in that locker room, because, I mean, you think about it, they probably spend more time in that locker room with that team than they do with their own family mm -hmm. during the season. They have a brother bond in that locker room, and knowing what one of their brothers is going through, I will find it hard to believe, or I find it hard to believe, that the Bills or even any NFL team will be ready to play this weekend. You saw several Bills players decide to stay in Cincinnati last night, including Stephon Diggs, who showed up to the hospital to support his brother and you know, football locker room is one of the most close-knit places yep. uh, in the world. Um, you know, those guys, you know, just are, are fighting for each other each and every single week. And, and I'll say this as well, because I can't even imagine how I would be feeling right now 
if this was a Dolphins player in the situation. I'm already rattled. I'm already shook. I'm trying. I can't, again, I can't really think about anything else yep. um, right now. But I'm just thinking about not only the Buffalo Bills team, but also uh, that community in Buffalo, that mm. fan base, what, what they're probably thinking right now. I went to college in upstate New York, um, and and I can tell you, and yeah, when they're rivals, that fan base, they're just good people, man. Mm -hmm. They're just good people. And you saw them come out for Tua Tungavailoa, um, put so much money into his foundation when Tua was hurt. You see Dolphins fans and other fans returning the favor right now uh, for DeMar's foundation as well, but just be praying for DeMar Hamlin right now that he's going to make it through this. He's in critical condition right now. He's in great care at the University of Cincinnati Medical Center. You went to college in Cincinnati. You know that that's one of the best hospitals, if not Top the best series, hospital yes. in the country. Um, so that's the good news. He is in good hands at the University of Cincinnati Medical Center, uh, the same place obviously took care of Tua Tungavailoa. Um, and then be praying for his family, be praying for his teammates, be praying for the community in Buffalo, um, and the NFL obviously did the right thing, uh, not resuming that game last night. Um, that would have been impossible to do, and they did the right thing, not making the game up this week. Um, is all we can think of right, about right now is Demar Hamlin. So, um, again, the link to his foundation, that GoFundMe, is in the comments and the description of this video. Uh, we'll talk to you again uh, tomorrow, and hopefully by then we have a positive update on Demar Hamlin, the Buffalo Bill safety.